Greetings in the name of the Most High. One of the things that perplexes me the most about our human species is the fact that there are things that are real, things that are palpable, tangible, visible daily, yet they are not believable, they are not acceptable, they are not uh, processed by the average human mind. But then some of these people believe in Jesus and Muhammad and Yeshua and these fictitious bullcrap made up from illusionary people like Adam and Eve and Noah and Abraham and all this other bullcrap. Now, one of the things that I find utterly despicable about our species is how we ridicule and chastise little children for wanting to be like big drug dealers and criminals and these bad boys who seem to be able to make it who seem to be able to live the life but our world leaders look towards countries nations like the united states of america and the united kingdom and france and italy as a moral guide as a moral compass disregarding the fact that most of these nations were built on murder genocide massacres where they killed native peoples and enslaved Africans and other peoples and in many of these societies to this day to maintain an ethnic majority the white man still unfairly incarcerates murders whatever you name it practices genocide like loading their water supplies with lead as in the case in Flint Michigan or flood them out creating disasters like in uh, New Orleans so there are multiple ways that they implement strategies to control the population to keep their numbers at at high levels perpetuating their evil deeds upon which they built this land yet we look to them as a moral compass why is this so they they they're practicing genocide on palestinians on the west bank and multiple times twice to be exact independent reports have confirm that they are practicing genocide and apartheid on Palestinians in, in, on the West Bank of Gaza. Yet because the United States and the United Kingdom said that these reports should be pulled, the head of the United Nations disassociated him or her, himself from the reports. So it shows that there really aren't any moral compasses in terms of the superpowers of the world. The superpowers of our world were built upon evil murder and genocide for which there is no statutes or limitation so it's time that the victim countries primarily african countries come together take your national banks back make them banks of the people base your money on your natural resources develop your natural resources put your natural resources to you stop exporting them for cheap to places like America and the United Kingdom and these places that are building their economies on your labor for cheap. You can do these things. You started civilization and one of the things they are proud to say is that they have been able to break our will. They have been able to destroy our self-belief. They have been able to destroy our self-worth. Therefore, we think that anything from them is good. And if it's from us, more than likely it's bad or it's of a negative, it, 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 it denotes a negative end. This is evil perpetuated by us ourselves helping the evil enemy. We must stop it. Wake up, wise up, and rise up. The head creator lives, rules, and reigns.